early intervention. What is it? How do we get in touch with them? Who is it for again? That's exactly what we're going to be jumping into here today on the video. Plus, we'll also be sharing with you why having early intervention in the home is an amazing thing. So be sure to stick around. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lenora Edwards, and I'm one of the many board certified speech language pathologists with Better Speech. Better Speech is an online speech therapy provider offering high quality speech therapy services right from the comfort of your home. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hey there. Before we get into today's video content, I want to go ahead and remind you to subscribe to our channel, Better Speech. And after you watch the video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to share with your family and friends. Also, visit us at betterspeech.com for more information. Now, over to the video. First things first, what is early intervention? Early intervention is a system that is designed to help developing children ensure they're meeting their milestones. Sometimes children that are born are presented with difficulties and they might incur developing delays or they might even have been born with health conditions. With early intervention, you are provided with physical therapy, occupational therapy, and or speech therapy through your state. Early intervention actually comes into your home, into that space where your child is the most comfortable, and we get to work with you right there. This system was designed very specifically for children from birth to three years of age, and in some states, it goes all the way up to five years of age. But how do you know if your child needs early intervention? That's a great question. Oftentimes, this will come up with your conversation when you're with your pediatrician. Also, adding to that, if you have concerns, you have the right and the opportunity to reach out to your early intervention provider. A quick Google search of early intervention near me or early intervention in the township that I live or in the county that I live should do just the trick. Absolutely reach out to your physician for additional support. When we're parents and guardians, we might not know every single developing thing that is occurring with our child, and that's okay. This is why you have a team. This is why you have specialists that are have extensive background in developing children and in early intervention coming into your home to ensure that your child is meeting those developmental milestones and also to provide you with the information and the education so that you can best support your child. Now, when early intervention comes into your home, you have the opportunity to share with them as much information as possible. And they're also getting to see your little one in the space that they're most comfortable, which is a great thing. Very specifically for a speech therapist, when we come into the home, we're often looking for things like, how does the child interact? What is their eye contact like? How are they moving about the environment? How are they interacting with you? What are the sounds that they're making? We are looking for a variety of clinical observations, but also we're looking to you to see what else this child is able to do or the difficulties that this child is experiencing because we're not there all the time. We're just getting a quick snapshot of them. The more information you're able to provide for us, the better we are able to provide a comprehensive evaluation for your little one. Now the same goes for an occupational therapist and a physical therapist. Your occupational therapist is often looking for similar things as your physical therapist and similar things as your speech therapist. The beautiful thing with early intervention is that we come together and we're often communicating how this little one is doing. What are the observations that we've seen? Where are the milestone markers that they should be meeting and how closely are they to them? Or where might we be able to offer some strategies? When early intervention is present, this is a beautiful support team that is here for you, your family, and your little one. Absolutely interact with them, ask questions, take videos, share with them what's going on, and if therapy services are provided or are warranted or, and needed in that time, be sure to often take videos of them as they're progressing. Now, it's important to understand that these videos Yes, you're welcome to share them with your therapist, absolutely. They're also for you. 
because what you're going to notice is that when therapy services are involved, you're going to have the beginning of where they are, and then you're also going to see the progress of where they are. Videos, especially the fact that they are on your phone and as easily accessible as possible, is a great thing, especially because you as the parent or the guardian, you're going to be you're in it. You are truly experiencing your child all the time. When you get that recording, when you get to go back and see what you recorded and you see how they're doing in real time, you're going to go, wow. They've made so much progress. Oh my goodness. When you're in it, it's a little bit trickier for you to see the amount of progress they have made. Whereas your therapist, when they come in once a week or every other week, whatever the frequency is, they're looking for different things and they're going to see progress differently. You yourself as the parent or the guardian is going to see progress differently. So understand that there's two different perspectives going on and it's important that you are able to see your perspective and to be also able to see the clinician's or the therapist's perspective. Now, oftentimes when early intervention is present, whether it's physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, or all of them, what we're doing is we're offering you a lot of the time suggestions and insights on what to target apart from therapy, what else you're looking for, and how else you can incorporate it into your daily routine apart from therapy. Now, this is your opportunity, especially during the therapy session. Ask questions. Also take notes. What are we doing? Ask us, why are we doing it? If the clinician already isn't telling you, by all means, ask questions. Why we're doing what we're doing, how we're doing what we're doing, what we're looking for. Our job is not only to help your child. Our job is to also help you and your family. The goal is to be able to build that supportive foundation so that you know what to do when we're not there, but also that you have the opportunity to ask questions, ultimately to help educate you and your family more. So whenever a clinician is present, always be present or be present as often as possible. Sometimes it's a little distracting for the little one, but be present as often as possible and take the time to ask questions. As clinicians, we are here to educate you. We are here to support you. We are here to also answer as many questions as we possibly can. And if we don't know the answer, you can be sure we will do our very best to get you an answer as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with a friend. As always, if you have questions and would like to work with a board-certified speech-language pathologist, reach out to us at Better Speech. We are here to support you and your loved ones to help you communicate effectively in every area of your life. Till next time, thank you so much for spending time with me today and stay well.